we're going to start talking about electrons and our first learning target is I can describe the relationships between wavelength, frequency, and energy. We're going to use our electromagnetic spectrum to describe these relationships and we are also going to be able to sequence a list of wavelengths according to wavelength, frequency, and energy. So if you remember, you've probably seen a picture of a wave. Remember that the top is called the crest, the bottom is called the trough. The distance between um, the crest of one wave and the crest of another is called the wavelength. So this is the length of one whole wave, um, one whole crest and trough. All right, and the amplitude is the distance between the baseline and the crest. So wavelength is, usually, is what we are really going to focus on here. So you need to know what wavelength means. Now frequency is how many wavelengths pass a certain point in a given time. So this top diagram is a high frequency radio wave. All right, you can see that many, many peaks are going to pass a point in a second. Whereas down here, the low frequency waves, you're just going to have a few compared to this one up here. So which one looks like it has more energy? The high frequency ones just even look like they have more energy. So frequency and energy are going to be directly related. And I want you to look at what happens to the wavelength of these high frequency waves. So this is the distance, this is the wavelength here. It's much, much smaller than the wavelength of this wave here. So as the wavelength increases, the energy is going to decrease. So that's what we call an indirect relationship. Now, if we look at our electromagnetic spectrum, this is on page 8 of your reference packet, um, you'll see that the radio waves have the longer wavelength. So the longer the wavelength, the lower the frequency, the lower of energy. Please write this on your reference packet, okay? Pause the video, write it down. Now, on the gamma ray side, over here on the right, you'll see the shorter wavelengths. Now, shorter wavelengths mean higher frequency and higher energy. All right, so our gamma rays, these are the rays that cause cancer and cure cancer. Um, they're the ones that have the high frequency and the high energy. So just to sum up another way, energy, frequency, and wavelength. Um, wavelength and frequency are what we call indirectly related. That means if one goes up, the other goes down. Remember, this little symbol here means wavelength. Frequency and energy are directly related, which means they both do the same thing. If the frequency increases, the energy increases, and vice versa. F wavelength and energy are indirectly related. All right, so if one goes up, the other goes down. So the wavelength increases, energy is going to decrease. And remember, that's directly, that's because of the frequency of the wave. So if the wavelength increases, energy decreases, and vice versa. Wavelength gets shorter, energy is going to increase.